impressed. Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and today I'm going to be opening some boxes and hopefully starting and maybe even finishing a build. We'll see how much time I end up having. Uh, I have a box here from Franz Foamworks. Some of it is stuff that I've been sent for review. Other is stuff that I ordered for some builds. I also have two boxes here from Out of Darts, which contain parts for this build as well as some other builds. So we're going to take a look at what I have and uh, hopefully get started on... Uh, what should be a really fun project. Right, well now we need to get a pair of Mavericks and start figuring out uh, if I have everything I need, figure out where everything goes. I, I will need, there was one, that one part I still need to print, but we'll start with the Mavericks. I'm going to commit a mighty heresy. I'm going to use Gear Up Mavericks because they're in my colors. And I've got a bunch of them, and I'm not going to use them for anything else. I've still got one in box on my wall. I've got one on the collection wall. I've got a third one, so or a fifth one at that point. So don't worry, I have more. We're going to get it open and uh, see if we can figure out how this works. I believe you you reuse the screws from the kit or from the original blaster to assemble the kit, because it doesn't look like it came with any uh, screws, so. And if not, <laughs> if you watched my recently, my recent, uh, well, actually, no, you, well, yeah, you probably will have seen that by now. It probably has come out. My uh, how to scrap blasters for parts. You will know I have plenty of extra screws. picture online I figured out how it all goes I figured out which part I'm missing and need to go print so I'm a I'm gonna go get that set up sliced and printing it shouldn't take too long it's a fairly small print I'll come back and uh, finish prepping the other one and start uh, setting up the flywheels uh, it's it's a simple semi-automatic flywheel wiring so single switch here that gets triggered by the uh, as you pull so it's a partial pull rev and then a full pull to to fire. Fairly common, straightforward. I personally prefer a rev trigger, but that would have required you to actually modify the shell. So far, this has required no shell modification at all. And that is the sign of a really well-designed kit, in my opinion. The fact that it, it is just drop-in is really cool. So, um, I'll be back. Though, of course, you won't notice I was gone because editing is magic! Yeah, I got the last uh, parts printed. And I'm gonna figure out where it fits. And they are done. They're really quite fun. Uh, it took a lot of tinkering. It's now too late for me to actually take them to the range. I will do that tomorrow, but of course you won't have to wait that because editing is magic. So let's go there now. Right, I'm here on the range and there is an excessive amount of construction noise in the background. You're just gonna have to come to grips with this. So I'm not going to talk. I'm gonna plink.
Right, well, as you can probably tell from that footage, these are entirely too much fun. Um, the build was a bit uh, troublesome, not because of the kits, but because of the hardware that I was using. Um, one of them is currently hitting 100 FPS, give or take 100, 105, and the other is hitting about 90, 95, and I have no idea why. They have the same internals, they've got Kraken motors, flywheel of the world wheels, um, same cage, but uh, the motors are a little suspect. Uh, some of them have been here in the shop long enough that they had rusted, and others were factory rejects that I was given. Uh, so I may go ahead and order fresh motors and uh, see if that makes a difference. But uh, at, right now, they're, they're a perfectly good number. I can actually use them in HVZ. I can use them at Borst. Uh, they're decent sidearms. I didn't expect them to be hitting much over that, given what they are but uh, the kits are absolutely beautiful they're easy to install there was a little bit of uh, shell trimming that was necessary and some tinkering here and there but for the most part they they go in real easy the the cable management is really nice uh, i got the kits that have a stock attachment point though i probably will never run them with a stock i might if i could find the right stock they do also have a barrel lug they've got uh rail on the top it is just nerf rail it's not picatinny rail uh, but they're they're really fun kits and uh, as you can see they, they actually work really well the Krakens are able to spin up those flywheel of the world motors or wheels real fast because of how small they are so you can just straight pull and fire you get a little bit better performance if you give it a little bit of time to rev uh, but once they're revving they you can just snap fire them and it's really 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 fun so um i got mine from france foam works as i said they sell the whole kit i think they even will sell assembled ones too i could be right or wrong about that check out their website link will be in the description the files themselves are also available or at least i was able to find them online i hope they are legitimately posted online and not uh, burgled in some manner um you can just google mayfly files and they'll show up so yeah, they, that was a, that was a really fun build, and I'm definitely going to be running these at the next uh, war that I have, um, or, or at the very least the next Borst war. I don't know if I'll run them in my arena war because those are a little bit uh, higher performance events, but I might try running them. We'll see. We will see. I really, really like them. I like how they look with the, the dual mags right and left feed uh, with the, the curved magazines. I just, I really like how that looks, so... There you have it. Let me know what you guys think of my dual Mayfly setup. And uh, thank you guys for watching.